Hey guys, Jarg here and welcome to Ember Escape. And today I have a lot of bunch of nice pieces of Ember to make some photos of. And each of these contains some sort of inclusion and today I have quite a few nice ones. By nice ones, I mean some of them can be nice, but it will be hard to make pictures for them because the nicest one in my opinion is the darkest one. Let's not waste any time, let's power on the illuminator and start making pictures. These insects have waited around 100 million years to, to be seen by us and let's take the first one. I want this one. Crazy pleasant piece, very nice polish, very nice shape and quite curious insect inside. Let's put it under microscope. First piece have a row joint in it. First thing that catches the eye are crazy long antennas, longer than its body length. Second thing is its big bulging eyes, that's a sign of a predator. And if you look closer at the forelimbs, I see transparent but primitive raptorials on them. This is no one other than a praying mantis. Well, it's a baby praying mantis, but it's a mantis, a rare find in amber. Predators are a lot more uncommon. Pictures are not the best, but after tinkering with the light, one picture turned out better than the rest. No freaking way, I didn't expect it to be a mantis. It's a baby mantis, but nonetheless it's a praying mantis, which is a predator, basically. Those raptor raptorials were barely visible, but... They are there, and yeah, I was thinking it's just a cockroach with super long antennas. Okay, so very good start. Let's go to a second piece. Ooh, 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 and let's do this one. This one is a partial protroid, and I know exactly what it is. And let me show you better. It also has big bulging eyes, but they are positioned from the sides, so it's not a predator. It's Umonocolidea family member in the Blatodea superfamily, an extinct crochoid. Unfortunately, I only took one picture of it. Uh, yep, it was no doubt Umonocolidea, <laughs> extinct cockroach group from the Cretaceous period. And now we have a wasp, but this piece. Look at this piece, it has some sort of white thingy on top. Either this wasp started rotting or it's some sort of mineral. Okay, let's put it under microscope as well. No much I can tell about this one, it's a wasp member of one of the largest insect orders called Hymenoptera. Wasp itself looks to be preserved nicely, but that white cloud on top of it is getting in the way to see the insect better. Cloud could be some sort of weird mineralization or the wasp started rotting in the amber. Either way, piece is looking nice. Okay, so I, mean, I think maybe it's time for a plant. And this one is super photogenic. Crazy beautiful, wow! Oh, it is gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic plant. Crazy detailed. I'm guessing fern, for sure. Probably, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's make this some pictures of plant. One of my personal favorite inclusions are plants. Imagine holding 100 million years old fern trapped in amber. That fern was growing in dinosaur infested forest. How cool is that? Other than that, there's not much I can say. Piece is super photogenic, fern is positioned perfectly in the center 
the only drawback is that plants are oxidizing a lot more and are always quite dark on the pictures. It is small flying insect, I'm guessing some sort of fungus gnat. The plus is that the piece is clear and not dark. But it's very small. Oh, a lot of bubbles inside. Interesting. <laughs> I guess I will try to make photos from both sides for, for this one. Should be possible. I was right. It is a fungus gnat from the same order as flies, called Diptera. This was identified by my friend Arthur to be Steridae, also called as dark-winged fungus gnat. These insects are living in the moist environments and there are almost 2000 described species of these winged pests. Indeed, pictures from both sides were possible and I love to see these insects from both sides. And this one looked really good from the front, very detailed. For its age, it's crazy. Cretaceous, 100 million years old. Okay, so what next, what next? Mm, I'm guessing this one, but it's very black. The inclusion itself, very black. It will be a cockroach and I'm thinking an adult with super long pronounced antennas. But picture, yeah, I don't think I will get good picture. And it's a little bit damaged from the side. Not much, but a little bit. Quite cool. It's with antennas, it's over one centimeter in body length. Anyway, let's try and get some pictures of this one as well. Not the best photos as expected, but the roach looks awesome. Bulky long antennas. Also, it has wings. It means that it is an adult bad about the damage from the side, but it's not that much damaged, still looks impressive and unique. These boogers are dominating this earth for over 300 million years now, and are still doing so. And now I will take my smallest piece, but this one, one of the most unique, it will be an alien, spiky alien. But about the species, I'm not sure, it's very small, around 2 and a half millimeters maybe? Very small, but looks quite nicely preserved, so that's nice. Sweet, let's put it in the plastic. It's very small, so I have to do it from the side. It's crazy. This one is crazy. Smallest inclusion so far, yet the most impressive and interesting. It's Heteroptera, a true bug. More specifically, it would be Hemiptera. It has this long snout which is used either to suck up the nectar from the flowers or suck up the fluids from other insects. And judging by its appearance, it's probably a second option. This could be Reduvidae assassin bug, but I still need confirmation about this ID. If someone knows, let me know in the comments, that will be much appreciated. I can tell from the side what it is, right? Yep, not a chance. Other side. Winged insect. At the moment I have no idea what, what it is. Moth, maybe? Nice piece. There is some sort of leg from other insects stuck in there. Okay, let's magnify it as well. Yeah, looks brilliant. I give it maximum light I could. Up close, it does look a lot like moth. Not exactly big specimen, but not small as well, around half centimeter in body length. And quite a pleasant piece of amber, and there is also part of other animal stuck in the same piece, looks like a leg. Yes, that insect was quite cool, nicely preserved, maybe moth, but now look at this. I have one more plant. This one was a big one, it basically half, half of plant. Some leaves from the branch. Looks very cool, quite big piece, impressive, 
around two centimeters in the plant itself, maybe even more. Now let's try to make it justice and take some nice pictures of the leaves. On this side, I will take pictures on this side, sweet. Judging by the spiky leaves of this plant, this is a conifer. A friend of mine helped me identify all the plants I'm getting, so big thanks for him. And this plant looks very nicely preserved. These pictures I took on different backgrounds. First one was on the white background and the second one is on the black background. Personally, black background pictures looks better for me. And yeah, it's a very impressive and beautiful piece. We are left only with two pieces, that's not much. And this one is very pleasant shape, pleasantly shaped. Shiny clear piece with not a big insect, but it has four wings, so it could be Neuroptera. We will take some pictures up close and see if it is Neuroptera. If it is, it's cool, because Neuropteras are very beautiful and, well, well, they are uncommon. So let's try this one to put it under microscope as well. Yoink, and we will have photos in a moment. Small, but nicely preserved Neuroptera, with all four wings beautifully spread. Neuropteras are also called lace wings and they have very beautiful wings, but this specimen is a little bit small, so I couldn't get a good glimpse on the wings itself. I tried to make pictures from both sides, but from the bottom Neuroptera was quite distorted. Distortion would go away if I would remove more material from that side, but I decided not to do it. Last piece is here and I tried to leave the best piece for the last and it's quite a big piece and it has a secret inside, a big beetle. Let's look it up close. I'm not sure, but this one is probably my favorite one. <laughs> Can't see anything from this side because it was cut from this side. And we have enormously huge beetle in there, but the piece is black. Either way, I will try my best to make as good pictures as possible for this black piece. And I always struggle with black pieces. Insect itself, over one with a half centimeters. And it was strong enough to escape the raisin. And yet, here we are. <laughs> Up close. Gorgeous carpi, carapace. I have spent over an hour trying to make good pictures for this dark piece, tinkering with the lights, using different backgrounds, and these pictures turned out as they did. <laughs> well, not the best pictures, but yeah. Patterns on the wings are very beautiful. This was a Omatidaya beetle, big adult specimen. Piece as a whole is really, really impressive. Even though it's a dark piece, I'm very happy with this one. And that was the 11 pieces I did prepare for you guys today to admire the ancient insects inside of Amber. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like for the video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel because I'm, I will make more content like this in the future and I have a bunch of it already made. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!